Welcome to Health Source of Mayfield, Kentucky. Today's topic, what it takes to succeed in weight loss. Perhaps the hardest demon for most people to face is weight loss. Statistics aren't encouraging. Approximately 95% of people who lose weight will regain it within three to five years. Even those who undergo drastic surgical procedures don't do very well keeping off the weight long term. With all this frustration and negativity, it's amazing that the diet industry is doing so well. As more research gets published in well-respected medical magazines, it's becoming clear that a new way of thinking is needed if your weight loss attempt is to succeed. It doesn't seem to matter what specifically you eat as long as you cut your calories. Granted, eating healthy foods is better for your body, but the total number of calories seems to be the most important factor in successful weight loss. General Weight Loss Strategies To succeed in losing weight and keeping it off, you need to commit to a long-term project. Creating a support structure that will help you refocus your energies when you lose faith is just as important as planning your meals. Some people do best dieting in groups, and others work better with a close friend. Choose what works best for you. Sit down with a nutritionist and take a look at what you usually eat. This isn't supposed to be a judgmental experience, just an opportunity to figure out where you're making errors. Together, come up with an eating regimen you can survive and gather some recipes to try out. Make a commitment to exercise. This doesn't mean you have to plan to run the Boston Marathon next year, although that is a worthy goal. This means committing to going for a 30-minute walk five days a week. Here is where that support network comes in. Go walking with your friend. Studies show that people who are committed to exercising with someone have a higher rate of consistency. Plan for the long haul. You didn't gain your weight in a matter of a few weeks. Losing weight isn't something you can manage in a few weeks either. Gradual long-term changes in eating habits and exercise routines are much more likely to be successful than any fad diet or poorly thought-over enthusiastic attack. Gradual long-term changes in eating habits and exercise routines are much more likely to be successful than any fad diet or poorly thought-out over-enthusiastic attack. It isn't uncommon for people to spend a year losing weight before settling at a level they find acceptable. Better Eating Options Just because you're trying to lose weight doesn't mean you're consigned to eating Melba toast and celery every day. Whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and lean cuts of meat should make up the bulk of your daily diet. These foods are nutrient-rich, have good fiber which helps you feel full, and will help you feel healthy. There are plenty of good websites that will help you find a diet you can manage. Successful weight loss is an incredibly difficult thing. Use all the resources your doctor can offer and focus on the prize but in small increments. Over time, you will see an amazing difference. To find out more information on topics like this, please go to www.healthsourceofmayfield.com.